is AI going to put me out of work as a new urbanist designer, planner, or illustrator? I don't think so. However, take a look at these technologies and what they're capable of. I spent hours, no, I spent days working on Swiss chalet style hotel views of our Big Sky project and their technologies that can spit out these renderings with a matter of minutes. Now, these are not to the level that we would be looking for yet. However, look what it's able to do. It is able to pick different architectural styles. This is the Zong style from Tibet that we were working with. And it's able to take place and location descriptions from the text that I'm putting into these boxes. This is a walkable market street in Saudi Arabia that I had to generate. This technology is called DALI 2. This is the second version of DALI. It's improving greatly, but it's not there yet. But I'm excited about this tool because it's mainstream, it's easy to access, and it's something that we can use to quickly visualize in advance the story that we want to sell to our clients before spending the hours or days that it takes to design and go back and forth and do all of that. These are very similar to the Saudi Arabian sunset renderings that the king paid tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars for, and this I was able to generate in a matter of two and a half minutes. This is really powerful. It's also not very good. However, there's a technology called Midjourney that operates off of Discord. That's not important. What is important is that when this generates these images in a matter of minutes, they're extremely good. So good that I giggled with joy, excitement, and a little bit of fear when I saw it. Look, look at the detail. Look at all the little windows, the lines, the way that it renders the trees, the depth of field. These are isometric drawings. These are professional level. And I am so excited about this because this would take days to do. In general, the work that we do as New Urbanists is we are trying to explain how things gone wrong in the past and how we can easily fix them. Take a look at this dying suburban shopping mall that Midjourney generated in less than a minute. Look at these cars. Look how it knew to put the cars on the roof. There's rooftop parking. It gets the scale almost right. The cars are a little big, but it does really well with the storefronts and the variety of surfaces and the colorings. And looking at this one, the ways that the cars are parked in front of these storefronts. This one's amazing. How it constructed an entire block out of a variety of building types. And it even went so far as to push and pull the frontages inward and outward and there's a little alley and the way that they delineated the interior of the block. It's, this machine is really smart. So did we know if putting a Tibetan Zong style mansion on a mountaintop as a ski resort was a good idea? I don't know. Did we have to spend days trying to figure out how to do it? Probably not, because this one did it in 60 seconds. Look at the roof lines. Look at the, the architectural detail. Take a look at the trees, the way the snow falls in the trees. Look at the little people in the foreground. How exciting is that? And the, the, uh, the, the ways that the backgrounds fade out, the ways that the water blends. I'm going to stop for a moment so you can take this in. Look at this. The ways that the trees fade in the background, this, this is professional level. Now this is the fifth version of this technology. This is called Mid Journey. This just came out a couple days ago and the CEO of this project is anticipating that the next version, version six, will be out in two or three months. So this, is, this technology is rapidly advancing and we have an opportunity to leverage this to save us a ton of time in proposals and in the early stage illustrations. Here's our busy market street in Saudi Arabia. Look at all these people, look at the tents. It doesn't yet quite get the street configuration right, like there's tents blocking the alleys and things, but it, it creates such a compelling feeling of place. There's such a sense of place by looking at these illustrations. And to wrap this up, we'll do just one more. This is my favorite, the 3D rendering of the busy street in Saudi Arabia. However, this time, the machine actually makes it a pedestrian-friendly market street. Look at these people. 
Look at the tents, look at the architecture, how crisp that is. It's not blurry or fuzzy. It's, it's real solid, good feeling urbanism. So I'm so grateful that we get to be on this journey together and as opportunities to use technologies like this come up, let's collaborate because we could save ourselves a lot of time and get more clients this way.